the film industry in New Mexico has brought amazing people, stories, and experiences to our state. But now, an incredibly fun opportunity is brewing right here in Albuquerque that gives all residents in New Mexico a chance to become a part of the filmmaking experience. And here with me today to talk about it is Ann Sterling, executive producer of Life in New Mexico Media Project, and also Dirk Norris, president and CEO of the New Mexico Film Foundation. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in this morning. Pleasure. Thank I think you. this is an awesome project. Obviously, New Mexico, a beautiful place to be, and uh, we want to hear more about it. Can you tell us what the, just tell us more about the New Mexico Film Foundation and what its mission is? Sure. The New Mexico Film Foundation was created to help support the independent film industry in New Mexico while offering financial assistance and educational opportunities to New Mexico independent filmmakers. So these are the men and women who uh, live and work in New Mexico and want to make films as opposed to the films that come in from right. California uh, and, and be shot. All right, love how this is supporting local. Right, you know. absolutely. Okay, so who can send in media clips and what kind of submissions are you guys looking for with this? Well, one of the projects under the Film Foundation, which is just getting off the ground, is called Life in New Mexico Media Project. And so I'm executive producing, and what we're looking for is that anybody who lives in New Mexico mm -hmm. could submit a three-minute piece of footage or video or something to this project so that we have these visuals that eventually will be put into 10-minute doc documentary you know, films. And uh, we just want anyone's story, what they love about it, what is going on, what you see in your backyard, right? You know, birdies, whatever. I mean, it's just can be mundane or spectacular. It's so, it, it doesn't matter. Do you need to talk on it? Do you need to have voiceovers? Do you need, or can it be still images or time lapses or just plain video or you, any of that? We're open to all of it. It can <laughs> really be anything, and we really want to see what you're seeing, like who's ever okay. out there. And it's students, it's gram you know, help grandma with the, the camera phone. It, it, um, I mean, we're obviously going to go through it for things that are, you know, family friendly and, and aren't all jiggly. Right. But um, we really want everyone who lives here to show us what it is, you know, what is your life in New Mexico. And, you know, we have this chance to put it all together at the end. Okay, I love this. And um, with the post-production people that will be assembling this, um, they can have narration, they can have music, but it's got to be New Mexico actors, it's got to be New Mexico um, composers, okay. um, everybody from the state. Great, so we have to keep it all New Mexico, yeah, of right. course. all the time. And so what are the partnerships involved in the goals shared for the Life in New Mexico Media Project? Yeah, so um, I reached out to um, Ann with uh, Friends of Film mm -hmm. and uh, Brad Stoddard, who is the president of the New Mexico Post Alliance. Um, those are all the folks that are going to be putting this stuff together. And uh, the New Mexico Tourism Department is on board with this as well. They're going to help us get the word out. And when these videos are finished, we're going to make them available to tourism and any other organization that wants to use them to promote New Mexico. Okay, fantastic. Love this project, love this idea. So hopefully you can get a lot of submissions in and, and really get that story going about what makes New Mexico so special and spectacular. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. And of course, if you want to know more about this and how you can get involved, just go to our website, casa.com, and click on the CASA blog.